Where, oh, where is my money gun? I don't know, it's broken, but I'm gonna make it rain regardless because we're going over some really deep stuff on how to 80-20 your time. Now, time management is one of the most important things to understand when becoming an entrepreneur. It's limitless. The opportunities, you can go a million different directions and really being able to assess exactly where I put my time in my business has been one of the most important things for me to understand and really rules over everything. So let's get into it in this video. Now I'm gonna go over a few things here. I'm gonna talk about 80, 20 in your time with a job, with no job, but a side hustle and without a job or a side hustle. So the first thing to understand about 80-20, this is called Pareto's principle, by the way, is that you want to focus on where you're making the most money. Now, for my example in this video, I'm gonna assume you can work 10 hours a day. Now, if you work a job and you're working at a job eight hours a day, that would mean, going by the 80-20 principle, if your job is making you 100% of your income, you should spend two hours a day working on your side hustle. Very easy equation there to get your head around. 80% of the time on where you make the money, 20% on where you don't make the money. And again, don't mix those up. Don't take time away from work to work on your side hustle. Always spend 80% of your time where you make the most money because you can move up in your job. And if you've seen my previous videos about being the best possible employee you can be, working hard, getting stock options, getting raises, getting employees, getting your own departments. All of this is possible working a job. So always make sure you put your full effort into working your job, no matter what. Don't take time away from it. Again, it's making you the money. And if you lose your job, you're probably toast and you're not gonna be able to have money to afford to work on your side hustle. So again, keep your job, be the best you can possibly be. It's the easiest game in town working a job. Now, if you have a side hustle, how do you determine, or maybe you have multiple side hustles, how do you determine where to spend your time? Well, given a side hustle, what you wanna do is wherever you make any money, you wanna focus your time there. Now, let's say you're doing affiliate marketing, right? And you just promoted a book that you like through the Amazon affiliate program to your friends on Facebook and you made 20 cents, okay? So you made $0.20. And now let's say you're in talks, you're in discussions to make a thousand bucks, right? For some sort of consulting or social media job. You're trying to run a small social media marketing agency on the side too, and you have a potential thousand bucks, but you haven't made any money yet. But that thousand dollars is a thousand dollars monthly. So that could be a big amount of money but you still earn zero dollars from it. Where do you put your time? Now, at the 80-20 principle, you put 80% of your time to where you're making the money. You made 20 cents, that's nothing, right? It's still where you made money. How do you put 20% of your time into promoting stuff on your own social media? Now, the way you do that is you think about how could you get 20 cents more often, right? So if you have eight, 10 hours a day to work, you spend eight hours figuring out how you could sell more of that book or how you could sell more things to the same people or how you could have more people that you could reach through social media. So given those three directions, you have three things to work on in your 80% of your day, the eight hours. You have growing your own social following. There's a lot of stuff around that, right? It's a very straightforward way to go about it. There's a lot of videos that talk about how to grow your social following. Two, you can sell more products to those same people. Now, if you follow some of my advice, which I recommend a lot of people, I helped a lot of people get started in affiliate marketing just by recommending books to their friends on Facebook through Amazon's affiliate program. You could find more books and write personal stories about them. That was my method. I told people to write a personal story about how a book or a CD album impacted them. So you could just write more personal stories on your social media about other items that have significance to you. And then the third thing is you could look for more traffic sources. You could write a review, you could write a blog, you could do more social media outlets. You know, there's a lot of different avenues that you could work on within affiliate marketing. 
right? Or within this 20 cents, right? Because maybe people really like the book and you've got to find more ways to promote it. Maybe people really like you and you've got to find more ways to promote yourself. Or maybe you just need to sell more items. Again, you don't know which approach is going to be the best within this 20 cents that you earn, but you got to give them all a shot. For this, you'd spend 20% of your time on. If you close that thousand dollar sale, great. Then you spend 80% of your time on starting your own social media marketing agency. But if you don't, poo poo it. Again, just leave it to the 20%. What I see many people kind of making mistakes on is they get excited about a particular project and then they abandon their other sources of income. I've done this a number of times in business. I've gotten really excited about, you know, I was going to do an ICO or I was going to do an education platform or I was going to do a this or a that. And I completely abandon the business that's making me the most money. And I go off into Pluto and I start working on some random side project. Even when 80% of my money is being made, let's say in this bucket, let's say it call it YouTube ads, right? I'm doing YouTube ads, making a lot of money. And then I decide to create software and I put 80% of my time there. Doesn't make any sense. So always focus on where the money is right now and grow that. This is always going to be the fastest way to make more money. Where the money is right now, grow that. Now let's talk about it without a job, without anything that you're doing to make money. Let's say you want to start e-commerce, you want to do stock trading, you want to do affiliate marketing, you want to do Amazon, and you don't know what to do. You have no opportunity. You haven't done anything. You're paralyzed. You're scared, right? Now, when you have nothing, what I would suggest you do is pick two and just focus on those. Just pick. Flip a coin. Doesn't matter. And just focus on them and just work on them continuously until you start seeing any money. Doesn't need to be a lot. Anybody can pimp themselves out on Upwork.com. Anybody can find ways to make a little money. There's a lot of apps out there where you can make a couple of pennies. There's a lot of other things. Go out and make a little money. Start something. I'd suggest you do something scalable, something that can scale, such as a scalable income source, e-commerce, social media marketing, consulting, affiliate marketing, drop shipping, stock trading, real estate. Those are kind of the big ones. Try stuff out, but give yourself a time limit. Again, if you're going to focus on a business model, give yourself, I would suggest three to six months where you just work on those maybe two business models, right? You say, I want to do affiliate marketing and social media marketing agency. Have those two things next six months, all your free time, just those two areas. Don't go off into no man's land and take your friend up on some weird idea he has to make money. Stick to your guns because there's always going to be shiny objects right around the corner. There's always going to be crazy opportunities right around the corner. And you're going to miss out on all of those if you haven't created success in something you're doing right now. I hope this video was helpful for those who watch. I 80-20 my time all the time. I focus on the places I make the most revenue. And that can be hard running a business because, you know, I start getting recurring income. You know, I'm making all this money. And then I want to work on, you know, virtual world. I want to work on software. I want to work on training events. I want to speak at conferences. I'm getting invited to be on podcasts. At the end of the day, speaking on stage at events or doing podcasts or, you know, a lot of conferences, there's a lot of things that really don't bring me any money at the end of the day. And I'm extremely frugal about my time. I'm extremely hard to reach because I know. Things that make me money, generally speaking, are around advertising and they're around affiliates. I have to be very clear, even if everything is running on autopilot, that my business growth is going to become from more marketing, more advertising, more affiliates. These are the things for my business. So if I'm not focused on creating better ads, better ROI, new traffic sources, and if I'm not focused on helping my affiliates succeed the most, gaining new affiliates and stuff like that, then I'm not working in the right areas on my business. And when you reach a comfortable place in business, such as where many would view my position, your mind starts to want to wander and do things that don't necessarily make sense. Let the numbers tell you what to do. Never take your eye off of that. 
And when you do take your eye off of that, the numbers will follow and they'll go down. So I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Give it a like for the algorithm, obviously. Give it a subscribe and let me know what you'd like to hear me talk about in future videos. Thanks for watching.